Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick update on the video on the buildings that I've been using my light diffusion film that I got in my last mail delivery. So I'll show you what I've done with it. I ordered this from Otter Valley because I knew I had at least two to three buildings that I really wanted to do an interior for, but when it really came down to it, it just it was just way too hard. So I'm like. You know what, I've seen people use this before, I've watched videos, so I'll give it a try. Even Chris Ward, in one of his uh, later videos, or earlier videos, sorry, he used this, and I saw it, and I'm like, that's probably one of the best things I've seen, so I'll try to use it in the, some of the buildings that I've used. So I, as you see, I have my John Deere dealership and a farmhouse that my wife got me for Christmas, and I'll show you what I've done with it. But first, I'll show you what comes in the actual package. These are all the glue little spots for attaching the film and the window tint together. As you can see, it's a very long roll. And then, it also came with a long roll of the actual light diffusing film and the window tint. So what you do is, from the video that I watched from Winland CNX, is you cut this and cover any area that you don't want to be seen and then you attach four of these which they recommend to each one on each corner and then if you want to make look look like the lights are always off when the lights aren't on is you cover this onto this so you cut this one glue spot on each corner you cut this to this size and then you put a glue spot on top of this and then you put it in your structure. So what I did was I had, uh, I'd say, not a fun time doing this. As you can see, a lot of windows and areas are protruding on this building. So what I had to do was I had to measure all the windows, all the doors. So I'd measure, I'd put my film up against the building like this, kind of put a pencil here, and then mark it and then cut it to the actual size. And then I had to trim it for the roof. And then what I did, it was like they instructed was, I would use this, one glue spot on each corner, and then I use the measurements that I already had, and I'd put it on this and then cut that to size. And then I would put it in my structures. As you can see, Having an interior on in this kind of building would just be way kind of it would be a pain for sure. As you can see, it's really really tight, and you just wouldn't get a whole lot of good interior for it. And then I even found that with the John Deere dealership. Like I'll have a full interior for this area, but when it came to this side, I just I just couldn't see myself doing an interior for it. It's just way too tight, and just not a whole lot of good interior would be seen. So what I did was I used the light diffusing film just in this area. These are just roughed in until I actually get power to my layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to use a work light that I got from work just to kind of shine underneath just to show you what it looks like for their deer dealership and the farmhouse. So stay tuned. So I've just quickly just set the roofs on they're not glued into place and I still have a lot of work to do with these buildings so I just quickly set them on just, just to show you what they would look like with the light diffusing film with the lights on when they're actually placed in the layout turn on my light here so as you can see it definitely does the trick for sure this is the farmhouse with the light on on the layout and that's what it would look like when it's off. Let's see if I can get a different angle from here. There we go. So, different angle there. And then when we go to the dealership, that's the front. Sorry about the glare. The side. And the other side so I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's doing a kit bash or doing any kind of building where you want to do an interior but it's just 
not really possible. I would definitely, definitely recommend this. It is a lifesaver and it just makes the building that much better. So if you guys are doing any kind of kit bash, any building, and you want to do an interior but you can't, definitely go Woodland CNX light diffusing film. But for me, take care guys. This is all I got for now, but stay tuned for more.